In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the ARC 2 assets that have been revealed. So today, a bunch of these assets for the ARC 2 trailer have been discovered. Now, none of these are new. All of these are featured in the ARC 2 trailer, but you can kind of get an up-close view of all of them. And a lot of these could end up becoming weapons or items in ARC 2. Not all of them, but maybe some of them will be. First is this, these dual wielding blades, and these ones look really cool, kind of looks like they're like made of bone, and then stone, probably mainly stone, but of course, and then they got the fibers holding them together, and a lot of people are thinking that they're going to have uh, dual wielding in this game, which would be a really cool addition. Next is these obsidian dual wield blades, so they're kind of similar, they're just little knives that are made completely out of obsidian, as you can see right there. That'd be a really cool addition, we don't really have an obsidian weapons in the game. Next is the axe, so I guess this would be the regular just stone axe, and this looks really cool. I really do like the look of this axe, it looks way better than the current axe that's in arc right now. Next are the bows, I really like the look of these bows, they look way better than the ones that are in the game currently. And then of course there's a quiver as well, so they might even have quivers so you could put the arrows in them, and I don't exactly know how that would work with arc, but it'd be pretty cool. Next is the spear. I really like the look of this one. I think it looks way better than the one that's currently in the game. But this is you can also use this as a skin in Arc 1 is the Santiago spear skin. Next is these big, I guess I don't even know what you'd call them. They got these sticks with these T-Rex skulls on the end of them. Kind of looks like some of those scorched earth skins. I guess you'd just beat people with them. It doesn't really look like much of a weapon. It'd probably just be a skin if anything. Next is this kind of thing on this rod. I don't really know how you'd describe it, but it's got these you know, kind of things. I think this is just an asset for the trailer. Next is, of course, these vegetable holders. I think this is also just a thing for the trailer. These aren't going to actually be in the game. They're just going to be part of the trailer. And then after that, we have these kind of bags you know, we could put on your side. Also, I think this is going to be a trailer thing, but they might have it in the game. And you know, it could be something you just carry your things in as an extra storage. Next, we have the armor types. And there's a bunch of different armor types that were actually shown in these. all of these. And all of these are way different than the current ones we have in the game. These are all kind of like made of bones with leather and stuff, and they all look really cool. I really hope there's more variety in the armor types, and maybe we can just get a ton of different armor sets or varieties for different things. We can build different helmets, kind of like these. I believe all of these armor sets are the ones that these weird, um, you know, other species used in the trailer. This one's my personal favorite, the one with the saber tooth mask on the end of it. So if you're wondering, all of these assets came from the person who actually made them, which was contracted to make them by a wildcard. And I'll have a link to the description to the post he made, which is actually a while ago, but of course nobody really noticed until now. I'll have a link in the description if you want to go see all of them in full resolution and full detail. If you guys did find this video helpful, then make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. Make sure to join the Discord server, follow me on Twitter, and also make sure to go buy some merch. I'll have a link in the description, but thanks for watching and bye.